Our company is part of a holding company for the production of medicines in Nagants. We have a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year we modernized and began replacing obsolete and technically obsolete equipment. I have been working as a chief engineer for 25 years and I know well all the technological processes in the company. I chose new equipment to replace technically unsuitable equipment independently, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job, there was a lot of equipment on the market, processes were changed and automated. In the plans of modernization was the purchase of a machine for packaging PVC blisters with pills in a cardboard box. The packaging machine is used as part of automatic lines at the final stage or separately. Two blister with tablets for throat treatment are placed in ready cardboard boxes according to the technological process of packing in a box. The blister packing process itself, or cartoner, performs in white cardboard boxes. The old machine was constantly being repaired, and sometimes we could not deliver the drug to the customer on time. We wanted to buy modern equipment, fully automated. Since I had already chosen many different machines for our company, I had a little experience in selecting, and remained in contact with some reliable equipment manufacturers. I started by telephone contacting the manufacturers, and asked whether they could produce a machine for packaging PVC blisters of tablets into cardboard boxes. I specified automatic control quality stainless steel material of the equipment as the main criteria. I was not prepared to wait that long. Since I could not find a manufacturer for a PVC blister carton packaging machine, I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another machine option. I searched the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience with a Chinese intermediary supplying equipment. When a powder filling line was brought to us, but there were no installation documents or technical data sheet. It took us a long time to set up the line. We consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online. I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All companies I phoned to make sure of the professionalism of managers. The Irkutsk company specialist said to wait five minutes, but never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time. Three days later I received from them in the mail 10 variants of different machines for packaging PVC blisters into cardboard boxes and an offer to make a choice on my own. I realized that they do not have a professional approach and I will not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third option of the intermediary from Moscow turned out to be successful for me. The manager, a man, talked to me like a professional. He asked specific questions about the desired productivity of the machine, the basic operations, told me about the terms of delivery. At the stage of consultation, he suggested a high-speed equipment for the packaging of PVC blisters of tablets into cardboard boxes. I was able to quickly coordinate the proposed line with the management of the enterprise. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. Specialist company offered to test the machine and asked to send blanks of our boxes and blisters with pills. The manager informed us about the degree of readiness of the machine two weeks before delivery and sent a video where we could see our equipment. A special device designed to press the blisters tightly and then feed them into the cartons to be packed. The aluminum foil was tightly stretched with the help of several rollers. The packaging process was monitored by means of parameters on the display. One month after conclusion of the contract, we received the machine for packaging of PVC blisters of tablets into cardboard boxes. The manager provided us with the manufacturer's warranty, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We carried out installation of the machine and trained workers, who will be assigned to the machine within a week. We were satisfied with the equipment, though frankly speaking I was skeptical about this machine, it seemed to me that it was too difficult to operate. However, practice showed that this was the machine we needed. The competent advice saved me time, and helped me to avoid mistakes, which I probably would have made, if I had made the choice myself.